911, what is your emergency? People are calling 911 for incredibly dumb reasons. Well, let's talk about that. Mythical morning. In this episode, I'm gonna take you through some of the dumbest oh. 911 calls Ooh. that I could find on the internet. I'm the type of guy that when something happens, I'm like, should I call 911? But I've never called 911. I have. Evid you have? Yep, we'll talk about it later. Okay. Evidently, there are people, I don't think you have. I have. Evidently, there are people who air on the other side, and they call 911 at the drop of any sort of a hat. Yeah. Sometimes literally if a hat drops. Yeah, I gotta call 911. Now that's, that that's not on my list, but I've got some here, and Rhett, I'm gonna run these by you, along with you at the same time, and you can analyze the merits of these calls, okay? I, I'm relatively quick to call 911. Here's one. A 39-year-old Pennsylvania man phoned the Upper McCungie Township Police late one Thursday night. McCungie, yeah. To report that someone stole his Jello from the break room refrigerator at work. <laughs> this is for real. Now I know that this is an issue. It's theft. Uh, the caller quote continued that this was not the first time his food had been stolen from yeah. the refrigerator. Right. He didn't call the first time. He wouldn't have called the first time. He would try to work it out. Obviously, this guy tried to work things out. If his car got stolen out of the parking lot, would he call 911? Yeah. yeah. His, what's the difference between the Jello and the fridge, man? I well, mean, because it's, it's Jello. I don't think you want to uh, burden the police with this. It's it's a slight overreaction, but there was theft involved. That's all I gotta say. And Just, if you, justified. If you Am really, I judging these? If you really, sure. Justified. If you really love Jello, then maybe. The incident remains under investigation. Yeah, it's tough to catch a Jello thief. Here's another one. Uh, Doyle Hardwick, age 57, became increasingly irritated when he wanted to check his Facebook profile in peace. However, his wife, Julie, refused to leave him alone, so he called 911. <laughs> this is tough to defend. Now, b uh, before you, be well, before you defend this one, uh, let's just take a look. Let's take a look at these people. Here's their mugshots. Give shots. me the facts. Give me the facts. Well, here's their mugshots. Okay. Well, you look respectable. The facts are Doyle first tried giving his wife a beer, hoping it would t make her drowsy enough to fall asleep. <laughs> That's what I always do. Instead, his Everybody wife have continued to sit next to him so that she could watch him browse the internet and visit his Facebook profile. Uh, Doyle Hardwick was arrested and pleaded no contest to a charge of misusing 911. He was sentenced to 60 days in jail where he did not have access to his Facebook page or his wife, Julie. Related question, did she ever Try to watch him look at his Facebook again? <laughs> Justified! <laughs> Sometimes you gotta pay the piper. Julie was not arrested over the incident, but has been previously arrested for theft of utilities. Oh, but yeah, you tap into the grid. I've done that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. it is annoying when you're trying to do something on your phone, like, you know, somebody's looking over your shoulder. On stolen utilities, no less. Uh, Justified? Yes, you said justified. Justified. Okay, so I think you're, you're saying all these are justified. No, so far these two are, two for two. Here's another one. A teenage girl who shall remain nameless was home alone. She called 911 to report her home was being terrorized by quote, a massive freaking creature. She went on to say, I'm home alone and there is a giant spider on the back of my couch and I'm talking giant. I've never seen a spider this big, and I have no idea what to do. The dispatcher agreed to have an officer visit the girl's home. The officer reported finding the spider, measuring about two inches in diameter. Cool, that's a big one. And disposing of it with a rolled up newspaper. Yeah. He also beat the beat the girl with the rolled up newspaper because she deserved it. What are you doing calling 911? Uh, she didn't, he didn't do that. He didn't do that for the record. He was a nice policeman. He just disposed of the spider and that was the end of the story. She okay. wasn't even arrested. It, it, what if the spider was two feet across? Let's just go extreme, two feet across. Prehistoric spider, justified, right? Yeah. Who are you to judge how, what's too big of a spider for this girl? If you can kill it with a rolled up newspaper. She's afraid, she could have been bitten. Justified. I, have, I don't, I, feel, I, I can't, kinda justified. I don't, I don't feel too strongly about that one. But I'm just trying to, you know, I'm trying to look out for the girl. Kind the of cop justified. came and did it. He he justified that it was justified. Well, I, I'll say that I'm saying this one's justified too because I feel bad about making the joke about the officer beating her with the uh, magazine. Yeah, you should. Or the rolled up newspaper. You should. I feel bad for that. 
It is now justified. Uh, that reminds me of another one I saw. A mother of two in Los Angeles calls 911 because, quote, there is a squirrel in my kitchen. That was my wife. Are you making fun of my wife? Yeah, I am. As you may know, my wife called 911 over a squirrel. That's we, why I'm defending the woman over the spider. All right, I got two more that are really great. This woman called 911 because she was stuck in her car. And there's a YouTube video of the entire one minute 911 call. Okay. So let's listen to it. All right. Emergency, emergency. Hi, um, I'm at the corner of Pleasant Hill and John Young Parkway. I'm in a Walgreens parking lot and my car will not start. I'm locked inside my car. I cannot open my car. I can't get the windows down. Nothing electrical works. And it's, it's getting very hot in here and, I, and I'm, I'm not feeling well. I, I need some help. Just, just, are you able to pull the lock up on the door and open the door? You should be able to just pull the lock up even if it's electrical. I've tried it. Oh, okay, okay. All right, I got that going, okay. So are you able to get out of the car now? Yes, I got the door open. Okay. All righty, uh, I'll, I'll see if I can get AAA or something. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. That's okay. All righty, bye-bye. Well, she didn't know how to unlock the door. Talk about an awkward ending to a... Justified! No. <laughs> an awkward ending to a 911 call. Wow. Okay, yeah, I, yep, I was able to open the door, sorry. I'm just, at least she apologized at yeah. the end. Sorry, I know I'm gonna be on YouTube now. <laughs> All right, and then I've got, I got one more here. Woman calls 911 because McDonald's didn't have chicken McNuggets. <laughs> Latresa Goodman, age 27, called 911 because they were out of chicken nuggets. I also have this audio. All right. 911, do you need police fire rescue? Follow you. How can I help you? I'm calling. Um, I'm the officer for McDonald's on US one by the bridge. Okay, what's going on there? I just ordered some food. The manager just took my money and won't give me my money back. They're trying to make me get something off the menu that I don't want. I order chicken nuggets. They don't have chicken nuggets. And so I told her to refund, give me my, just give me my money back. And she's telling me I have to take something else off the me. And she's not going to give me my money back. And she don't have the right to take my money. Look my officer right here. So she said, I ordered chicken McNuggets, they said they didn't have it, and now she won't give me my money back. Get, I need an officer here right now. When you got your heart set on chicken nuggets, you can't settle for like a Big Mac. Oh, she called three times. You don't have my chicken nuggets. I want a McDouble and a small finance. And she told me I will have to pick something up off the menu that equal up to what I paid because she can't um, do that. And so I told her just give me all my money back. I don't want anything. She told me she's not gonna give me my money back. She can't give me my money back either. And so she's trying to force me to eat something off the menu that I don't want. What's your name? Latricia. Latricia? Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, we got an officer coming out there to talk to you. Yeah, we got an officer coming out there to talk to you and they arrested her. But this one. For misusing the system? Yeah, and I feel like this is justified. I mean, the, the, they wouldn't, they, you know, they wouldn't give her nuggets, and then she said, "I'll take a McDouble." They said, "No, no, no. We got to give you exactly the amount of money. We got to give you something for the amount of money you've already given us." And what's up with running out of nuggets anyway? Yeah, you can't how, do that. You got to have nuggets on you, standby. You can't, you can't arrest Latricia for that. No, but they justified. Did. Just seriously, if you misuse the 911 system, you can be you can be thrown in jail, you can be arrested. So listen, you better make sure that it's justified before you call 911 or you'll end up in the hopper. Thanks for liking and commenting with your 911 experiences on this video. Support the show by signing up for a hassle-free mobile experience with Ting. Ting. Go to retinlink.ting.com to get a $25 credit. You can save some money on your mobile phone. Service. You know what time it is. We wanted to make sure you didn't miss our special announcement video last week about the new show that we're launching and we are looking for hosts. All the information is in that video. If you're interested, check it out. Also, click through to Good Mythical More where you're gonna tell me about your 911 call for reals. Yeah, the legitimate one. And I've got some honorable mentions for stupidest 911 calls. Rhett is a man dictionary. <laughs> Hey, I gotta look up a little word action here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna look it up in my man dictionary. Here it is right here. Uh, hey, I was just wondering what onomatopoeia was. Onomatopoeia. Yeah, that, that's a word, right? It is a 
noun. Okay. What Would it, you like me to use it in a sentence? I can do that. I'd like you to tell me what it means. You have requested the definition of onomatopoeia. Yeah? <sighs> hey, I didn't, uh... Hello? What? I didn't get the definition. Definition is the meaning of a word. You don't know what onomatopoeia is, do you? I'm sorry. I know it has something to do with grammar or English, <laughs> but I searched yeah. my database and I am not familiar with, I'm not confident. I'm not a confident dictionary. This is my first day. In fact, you're the first guy to open me. <laughs> That's a, I appreciate your Can honesty. Can you tell me what it means so I can tell the next guy? Why do you think I'm asking you, man? <gasps> Boy, this is an impasse. An impasse is a situation where you <laughs> cannot proceed. <laughs> Are you telling me that you think reverberate is what it is because it sounds like what it may, it does? Yeah, reverberate. What? Are you being you're you're being stupid on purpose, right? <laughs>